Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at some of my more valuable coins um, we'll be looking at silver coins mostly we'll also be taking a look at one gold coin and at the end I have a little surprise for you um, I just returned from a trip to Italy and uh, as always I tried to find a local coin dealer where I can get some coins to add to my collection and I found one and I bought myself a couple of Italian coins and uh, two of these coins were in fact silver coins and uh, here I'm showing you the first one that's Umberto the first there it's a two coin from 1884 Umberto I was the king of Italy back then and in fact his reign ended uh, when he was shot dead by an anarchist at the back here we can see the coat of arms of Savoia or Savoy which is in fact the house under which Italy was united the, um, under the kingdom of Piedmont the other Italian coin that I got was this 10 lira coin and this time it shows another Italian king this time it is Vittorio Emanuele III uh, it is a 10 lira coin from 1927 and it is from Italy's fascist period and in fact in the reverse although perhaps it's not so clear you can see the the soldier there that's representing Italy and in his in her hand there is the symbol of uh, the fascists which was in fact the symbol of the fascist party another silver coin in my collection is uh, from the country in which I was born and that is Malta and this is a two liri coin from 1989 now at the time um, before Malta joined the eurozone we had the Maltese lira as our currency but the two liri was in fact a banknote this was a special coin issued on the 25th anniversary of our independence which was achieved in 1964 and in fact the man shown on the coin there is Giorgio Borch Olivier who was the Prime Minister of Malta when it became independent and on the back of the coin there we can see the coat of arms of the Republic of Malta up next we have two coins from South America the first one over here is from Colombia and it shows Simon Bolivar who was the man who led numerous South American countries to independence from Spain and in fact Simon Bolivar is shown on a large number of South American coins and a large number of South American stamps as well um, consider, considering that uh, South America was almost all, all of it controlled by Spain so basically um, he was responsible for the con almost all of the continent's independence um, it is rather worn out, it's not in the best condition and in fact we have the coat of arms there this coin is uh, from 1953 and it was valued at 20 centavos and the other South American coin that I'm going to be showing you is this one from Venezuela it also shows Simon Bolivar um, it was valued at one Bolivar and it is from 1945 this coin however isn't made up entirely of silver and it also contains copper in its composition Now, oh, finally we're going to be looking at our last country for today 
and I'm going, and that is the United Kingdom. And uh, I'm going to show you, perhaps, the, this is my most valuable coin, and then it is in fact this one over here. It's one sovereign from 1855, and it is a gold coin. It shows the Victoria, Queen Victoria, in her first portrait. The story of how I got this coin is uh, very unique. I can't believe it, that such a thing could happen to me. But basically, I found this in circulation. And uh, I work in a shop, in a pharmacy actually, and someone actually paid for some things uh, with this coin, uh, which was mistaken for a 50 euro cent coin. And uh, anyway, I noticed it after a few hours had passed, it was in the cash register there, and I just couldn't believe my luck. And on the back there, there is the coat of arms. So yeah, definitely my most valuable coin. Up next we have what is the largest coin and heaviest coin in my collection. And it is this big one over here. It also shows Queen Victoria, albeit this is her second portrait. And in fact, it was issued a few decades after the gold coin in 1890. Uh, it is of a one crown value. And at the back there, we can see St. George crushing the dragon, uh, which is a depiction of the saint, uh, the national saint of England. And his, his, his depictions are shown in a lot of coins. Um, just for your information, this coin is 38.61 millimeters in diameter and weighs 28.28 grams. The next silver coin that I'm going to show you is this half crown from the time of Edward VII. The king, another king of England. This is from 1902, and uh, basically it shows his his portrait, and at the back there, the coat of arms, showing the denomination of the coin. Of particular note, uh, in this case, there are at the top right there there are the inscriptions I N D I M P. Um, this means that back then the king of the United Kingdom was also emperor of India and these two inscriptions were removed from the coins when India became independent. And finally, and uh, to conclude uh, the United Kingdom coins, I have four coins from the time of George V. This is the first one. Sixpence. One shilling. It's uh, not in such a great condition. It's from 1918. We have one florin. Also from from 1918 and half a crown from 1916. The royal shield there at the back as well. And that concludes all of the silver and gold coins in my collection. Now it's time for the surprise. Um, and uh, the coin that I have as a surprise for you is neither silver nor gold, but it is in fact a coin from the Roman Empire. I'm not um, particularly well versed or well read on coins from this era 
and this coin in fact was a present and I don't really know so much about it what I do know it, uh, is that it is from the time of the Emperor Constantius II it is uh, of a value known as Follis and it was used sometime between 337 to 340 AD and in fact then on the back there is the inscription Gloria Exercitus which basically means glory to the army showing exactly how important the army was to the Roman Empire and that's it thank you all for watching um, let me know if you have any comments or perhaps you have any suggestions for future videos. I'm always happy to answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. And until next time, take care and uh, see you in the next episode.